Hi, this is John Wick with Arizona Real Estate Notebook again. Here I am in McCormick Ranch on this great path that goes right along McCormick Ranch Golf Course. Really nice. But what I want to talk about is the post that I'm putting together which is showing the shadow inventory in Metro Phoenix. There's this urban myth out there that there's this huge amount of homes that are going to be foreclosed on or already have been foreclosed on that the banks have and they haven't released on the market and they're going to release these homes and it's going to drive down prices again. Well, that's a myth. I can't find any evidence for that in the data. For example, right now we're in November. The number of homes listed for sale in the local MLS that are owned by banks is one-third of what it was a year ago. One-third. It's fallen by two-thirds. Huge decline in the number of homes that banks own that are listed in the MLS. But people say, okay, but what about uh, they own the homes, they foreclosed on them, and they're stockpiling them, and they're going to spring them on the market, it's going to drive down prices again. There's no evidence of that. Because in Arizona, when they foreclose, that's a public record, and then there's a company, the Cromford Report follows it through. Each individual home has been foreclosed on, the banks own it, and when do they transfer, put it in the MLS? So he can follow that, and what he's found is that, well, I look at his data, and for uh, Metro Phoenix, it's basically flat. There has been no buildup, huge buildup of foreclosures in the MLS. But I suppose people could say, okay, but what about they're not foreclosing on them, so they start the foreclosure process, but they, the banks are not foreclosing because they don't want to have any more. But that's another thing that, that you can easily follow because in Arizona they have to start the foreclosure process. They have to get a notice to the owner. It's called a notice of trustee sale. And the foreclosure auction here is called the trustee sale. How you doing? Pretty good. How you doing? <laughs> good. So, uh, so that's easy to track. How many homes in Arizona are in that process of being foreclosed on? Or in uh, really Metro Phoenix? So you can look at that and it turns out it's fallen by almost half. So if you look at a year ago, there's almost half as many homes that are in the foreclosure process than there were a year ago. So that's a huge, huge decline. But then people could say, also I suppose they could say, well what about, they're, they're not even starting the foreclosure process, the banks, but there's all these homes that haven't paid uh, a mortgage payment for many, many months. So yeah, you can look at that too. I found a website online, Lender Processing Services, who throws out some data occasionally. It's not like a whole time series, but you can go through and pick out some data. And it looks like that the deficiencies, those homes that are behind on their payments in all of Arizona is down more than one third from the peak. The peak of was in early 2010. And now here we are in the fall of 2011. It's down more than one third. That means one-third fewer homes that are deficient on their mortgage payments than back then. There isn't this big buildup of homes anywhere along this distressed sale pipeline. There's no buildup anywhere along it that is going to hit the market. Uh, it's really intriguing to me why this urban myth is so persistent, even among realtors. Even among realtors, it's very persistent, but that's a more psychological uh, evaluation that I'd have to come into in another post. Well, I hope you find this useful. Look at the grass below. That the grass really tell the story. Take care.